Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Light here, and we're continuing Lufia 2. And uh, we're gonna push some blocks here to uh, try at least to get this uh, switch pushed. Alright, so it's gonna involve some hook shotting, I know that. But it doesn't involve me falling to my into another hole, so let's get back up there. <laughs> I actually don't remember this puzzle at all. Well, most of these puzzles I remember and can clear them easily. Which is kind of what's making this game shorter than it would have been. Uh, some puzzles I don't remember, and this is one of them. Ah, I'm gonna do this again. But I'm here, so I can do a quick heal. Let's get back in there. I don't want that. Alright, so I think I have to move that all but one hit it from here, push that down, push that across, and then do it from here. Yep. Alright, I did have a general gist to how to do it. Okay, so, moving on. This path has uh, opened up to me. Alright, this puzzle was actually changed too. This used to be a cross shape, which is censored in the English version, so it's now a uh, in-order puzzle. Let's do that one more time. Alright. Gone. The wind key. Good. These guys are actually very easily uh, able to surprise you because they move with you and they will always kind of try to hit you on the side. Unless you know how to get around them. <laughs> they don't like to put up fair fights, I guess. Alright. So where was the door? Was it the fifth floor? That would make the most sense. There we go. Alright, and the switch is open, so I can go right up to the top. And let's look around, see what's around here. Here's a cross, uh-oh. There's a door there. It's probably going to have a big mean guy in front of it, or inside of it. Alright, nothing around here, so let's do it. Here it comes. Hey, big guy. <laughs> this is the guy who destroyed the town. What is your name? Maxim. And here he is again. Gades, Master of Destruction. One of these four Sinistrals. And a fight breaks out. And I can tell you right now, chances of winning are very slim. And that's why. <laughs> I 
I actually think there is a way to beat him, and he drops, like, a rare item. But... No. <laughs> Getting enough power to actually beat him at this point is... on a level of ridiculousness. So it's time for us to call it quits. survived on the till the third turn, I mean, come on. And then we got healed. <laughs> this is the woman in the cave. Guys, land, you too are fated to travel and do battle. But Tia, not so much. Everything else is up to you. And you can see Tia looking around going, uh, what about me? Yeah, so, even Iris is like, yeah, you shouldn't be here. I'll steal his scimitar. And a block shield. The block shield helps me block. <laughs> Hmm. 185. 202. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the flame dagger for now. I could put it on him. But I'm not gonna. Alright. And I will say this, there is a point... Um, I don't know if it's soon or not, but Tia leaves you, and I kind of want to unequip her at that time, <laughs> so I can keep my stuff, but we'll see what happens. Alright, why don't we just use escape, huh? And we have to walk back to Parcelite. <clears throat> I could use a warp, but I'll walk it. It's not that far off, and experience is good. Yeah, the one thing bad about that uh, Gades fight, or Goddess, or however you're supposed to pronounce it, uh, is that you lose all your IP because you quote-unquote died. So, I can't save for a rainy day when the rainy day happens off-screen. Well, no, technically it's not off screen because it happened on screen, but. Un none, not any of my control, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Don't take my powers when I have no control over the situation. Gotta get that one fight in. Job. The thing is, like, T is not that bad. I mean, she has pretty good healing spells and damage spells. So, but everybody kind of downs her throughout the entire mission here and kind of looks at her like she shouldn't be here. And it's kind of sad after a while. I know. 
many more useless characters that you'll run across that really mean nothing compared to her. Alright, let's report. We failed. Oh, here we go again. Of course, I'll go alone. Is there a guy here? We're all guys. Hilda. I know someone who can help us. And we're gonna team up with Salan again. So we're losing Guy for a little while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you the man. You do use a sword. We should fight. <laughs> Didn't we already have this conversation twice? Let's head to Merrix. The barrier should be down because of reasons. But now I don't have guys, so things will get a little more dicey. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head to Merrix. really should put Salan in front compared to Tia. Uh, I'm going to head to Merrix and I'm going to shop a little. See if there's anything useful for us to purchase. And to upgrade our weapons and armor. And uh, I think now would be a good time to kind of shop for my capsule monster. Now that we actually need a good fourth. I mean, or I could just grind for money. I mean, I won't lie. This, uh, this is a patched version of the game, so... If I have to, I can... Kinda cheese out the, uh, casino. <laughs> Keep resetting until I win. I think the patch, uh, unpatched version would just crash if I tried to do that, because I've tried it before back on the console and it didn't work too well. Not just because it was boring, but because that, uh, kind of deleted my save after a while. Must have hit some weird algorithm. I don't, actually don't even know how that save got erased back when I was a kid. But I remember doing this part, all these parts twice. Oh well. A mystery left in my childhood, I guess. guys real quick. Hopefully. Quick. Not so quick. Die, would you? There we go. Alright, Merrix. <laughs> there are never any monsters in a cave until now. Babe on each side. The usual. NPCs say the weirdest things sometimes. Look 
good for Eugene. Oh, a broken bridge. Any way to keep me in this area? He's a big man, too. Alright, so on the next episode, we'll finish exploring this town, and uh, we'll head to the North Cave and probably have to deal with the broken bridge situation. And I'm guessing, uh, since they mentioned a guy named Eugene who built all of the buildings in this town, I bet he's involved with the fixing. It tends to be like that. Luckily, it's not going to be as annoying as the first game's bridge fixing scenario. So, thankfully. Very thankful about that. Anyway, hope you join me for the next one. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.